Hi, I'm Nazm Hassan. In this tutorial, we're going to learn what happens to the current impedance and power in a series RLC resonator circuit. We are also going to plot these three parameters in Cadence Virtuoso and verify our theoretical assumptions. So let's get it started. If we have a resonator circuit as shown in this figure, driven by a sinusoidal source V with a series internal resistor RS, then we can find out the current through this circuit, which is IS. And if we also find out the terminal voltage VS across the terminals A and B, then the input impedance seen from the source side can be the ratio between the voltage and the current, all right? Now, we know that at resonance, the capacitor and inductor, they just swing the power back and forth. So essentially, they do not consume any power at all. So all the power is dissipated into the resistive load, R. So at resonance, the power dissipated across uh, into this resistor, R, is R power. And we are going to plot these four parameters in cadence virtue so and see their behavior with respect to the frequency. And we're going to use the inductance and capacitance value um, as shown in this figure in our simulation in cadence virtue so. So open a new schematic window in cadence virtue so and then go to create new instance. I'm going to use analog library. The first element is a resistor. And then a capacitor. And an inductor. So L is the value of the inductor that we're going to assign later. Um, I also need another second resistor in order to indicate this um, internal resistor of the source. So I will use a variable RS for that. And finally, I need a sinusoidal voltage source for the type V sign. It's the name of the cell or a sinusoidal voltage source that can be used in AC analysis. And I'm going to use another variable AC mag in order to denote its AC right. magnitude value. So um, uh, I'm going to drive the circuit by using this sinusoidal voltage source. Right. And the last cell that I need is a ground cell. So now we can connect these elements together. Um, I'm going to label this net because I'm going to plot the voltage of this net. And it's a good practice to label net so that you can track uh, the voltage of the net later. If you have many nets in the circuit, you can track them better way. Now, um, check and save. We can simulate the circuit now for the simulation launch the ADEL, Analog Design Environment window. Um, right click on this empty space in order to load all the variables that you have used in the schematic. And for that, copy from cell view. Now you can assign the variables value. The first of all, I'm going to use one volt to drive the circuit. And then the cap value should be 3 picofarad. And the inductor value should be 10 nano henry. And both of the resistor value, let's define as 50 ohms to keep the light simple. I'm going to use AC analysis to simulate the circuit. So select AC and make sure you use frequency as a sweep variable. And let's define 
the range of frequency as 5 mx to 1500 mx because this uh, this circuit resonant uh, resonates at 980 MHz so this is a reasonable range of frequency I'm going to use a linear step size of 10 kHz um, the rest of the settings are fine um, before simulating uh, go to save all option and make sure you enable all options because we're going to plot the current of the of, of, of the circuit and that's why if you don't uh, save this current you cannot plot the current so make sure you uh, enable those options now press this green button to start the simulation All right, now the simulation is complete. Now we can plot the current. For that, go to results menu and then select direct plot and main form. I'm gonna plot the current first. So select current and select terminal. You're gonna see the magnitude of the current and it is asking to select the instance terminal on the schematic. I'm going to see the current in this terminal because this same current flows uh, through this loop. This is the current of the circuit. So let's change the type of the plot to better visualize it. Um, so this is the current in milliamps. So you can see right at the resonance frequency 918 megahertz. Um, the current is almost 10 milliamps, right? Um, okay, so 10 milliamps, this is the maximum amount of current flowing through the circuit. And uh, from the theory, you know that the current gets maximum at resonance frequency and this plot verifies our theory. Now, if you uh, would like to see the impedance of uh, impedance plot, then what you can do, you can plot the voltage Vs and then take the ratio of this voltage and the current which will give you the impedance right across uh, this terminal right so uh, now let's plot the voltage vs um in order to plot the voltage select voltage and then select differential nets um now it's asking to select the positive net on the schematic so select vs as the positive net as for the negative net select the ground terminal now this would give you the voltage all right now we can take the ratio of the of this voltage and this current and then plot it which would be the impedance now let's do that um to do that select this one um we're going to define a new parameter um, let's say let's call it impedance right so this is the voltage so simply um, uh, first let's first add it it would be easy now select this current and just copy this expression and paste it here so we are dividing the voltage with the current that would give you the impedance, right? So simply apply. And now you can plot it. You already plot these two terminals, so just simply plot it. Now you can see this is the impedance, right? Um, as for the impedance, you can see in uh, at resonance frequency the impedance is almost 50 ohms because at resonance frequency the XL cancels the XC leaving only the real part of the impedance which is 50 ohm the resistive part and that's why at resonance the impedance of the circuit is minimum and then the current is maximum all right 
Um, if you wa want to see the power dissipated in this resistor, you can simply um, take the current through this resistor, square it, and then multiply it by this resistor. It's very simple and straightforward. And let's do that. Let's add a new parameter called power. And then um, we already have the current. So you can take the square of the current. In cadence, double asterisk means this, I mean, uh, raising the power, right? And then you multiply this square of the current by the resistor. So var, if you want to use any variable in cadence calculator, um, then you have to use this expression var. And within the double quotes, you define the variable r. Okay, so r is the variable that we have declared in the um, schematic r. So that's why I'm using r here. Simply press add, or we have already, uh, no, we didn't add it, so simply press add. Yeah. Now, okay, we can plot the power now. Now, let's plot all these three quantities current, impedance, and power. Okay. And you can move these other parameters in a new sub window. So the power is maximum at resonance 919, 919 almost 5 milliwatts. And it's very simple because the current is maximum at resonance, so the power should be maximum. It's very simple, right? So um, our simulation verifies the theory at resonance, current is maximum, power is maximum, and impedance is minimum. I hope the concept has been clarified. Thank you very much for watching this tutorial.